Hi, Ryan Dotson here with SurvivalSullivan.com. Uh, today I'm going to go over with you um, how to put together what's called a cup trap. Now trapping, of course, is one of the best ways to get protein in particular in the wild. And the reason why is because once you put the time and effort into setting up a trap line of any kind, then all you have to do from that point forward is just check them periodically and, uh, you know, replace any bait that's been stolen, make sure that they're still operational. So uh, it allows you to spend your time, once the trap line is set up, on other tasks like building shelter, purifying water, uh, you know, any, anything that you might need to spend your time on other than collecting food. A cup trap is one of the most simple designs that you can use, and really the reason why it works so well is because you may not have noticed this before. I don't think I noticed it until I learned how to make this trap, but birds in particular have a hard time going backwards. Uh, if you can, can corner a bird into a tight space that does not allow them to move forward or to the sides um, and does not allow them to fly out of it, then they're going to have a really hard time putting it in reverse to be able to get out of there. And so this is the kind of trap that, that works really well with birds uh, to lure them in there and get stuck. And you don't need a whole lot of materials. Just a, a simple solo cup like this works just fine. Or you can use something that's a little bit heavier as well. That's really up to you. If you're going to use a light cup like this, though, you do have to anchor it down in some way so it doesn't blow away. Because um, that is a, an issue with these. But that's what I'm using for, uh, for this particular one today. Now, you'll need some sort of a binding agent to hold your bait in place and to also get the bird stuck inside the cup. For today, I'm just using honey, uh, but you can use any sticky substance. You can use tree resin, like pine resin. Uh, works great for, for getting a bird stuck in this kind of a trap if you're out in the wild and uh, your supplies are limited. And then you need some sort of bait. Any type of, of seeds or nuts uh, work really well with birds. I'm using sunflower seeds for today, but you can you can use a variety of different things. Now, to put this together, there's a few keys. The biggest one is you have to make sure that you get your sticky substance on the sides. It's not good enough to just have it down in the bottom. So, you want to use quite a bit. Be fairly liberal. So you can kind of see in there, I've gotten it on all the sides. And then I'm just going to use a butter knife to kind of spread it so that I get an even coating around the whole thing. Now we've got it spread all the way around the edges. We've got a nice coating. Now as far as the bait, you want about half of it to be down in the bottom of the cup. If you're using a good sticky substance, it will not be going anywhere. Then you want to just kind of trail a few pieces out one side and save a little bit to put on the ground next to your trap. So you can see, if you can get a little bit of light in there, there is quite a bit at the bottom and then a little trail leading out. So that's all there really is to, to this trap. You know, the bird wants it goes in for the seed, it's gonna follow that little trail in and try and get to the back. Its feathers will get stuck on the sides with the honey and then it will not be able to move at that point. So that's all there is to it other than anchoring. Now there's a couple different ways that you can anchor this. Um, you can just put a, a heavy rock in the bottom of it, but I don't like doing that just because it limits the amount of space inside here and it can get in the way of the bird getting stuck. So I like to do one of two things. You can either sharpen a stick and drive it st straight down through your trap into the ground to hold it in place. You just want to make sure that you go, you push it far enough down to where the stick's not going to get in the way when the bird tries to get inside your trap. Uh, the other option is you can take two sharpened sticks and you can crisscross them across the top here. So you're going to, as you drive the sticks into the ground, you're going to crisscross them at the top here so that it holds 
everything in place and your trap can't uh, blow away or, or the bird can't get free. And you need to check this. I'm going to suggest every few hours, this is the kind of trap that if the bird struggles enough, it might be able to get free. So you don't want to let it go an entire day without checking the trap. You know, typically I'm going to say check it two or three times a day. So that's it for the cup trap. I sure appreciate you watching. Again, this is Ryan Dotson with SurvivalSullivan.com and we will catch you next time.